huge loss for DPD tonight. Sergeant Style was not only said to be okay, he was expected to go home soon. Ken said it not once but several times, not only to his loving family, uh, but to his men that were with him, that I'm glad I took the round because I would not have wanted any of you to take it. Detroit Police Chief James Craig at times holding back tears with Mayor Mike Duggan and hundreds of Detroit police officers announcing one of their own, Sergeant Kenneth Style, has died. It was a joy uh, to be with. He thought he was going to be uh, going home this week. Sergeant Style was ambushed and shot in the line of duty while tracking down an armed and wanted fugitive, 21-year-old Marquise Cromer. Cromer opened fire with a 12-gauge shotgun, hitting the 20-year DPD veteran in the shoulder. Style was rushed here to St. John Hospital in Detroit, where his condition was improving. But sadly, his health took a turn for the worst. Sergeant Style died from complications late this afternoon. Uh, our hearts are, are broken uh, this evening. Uh, and every Detroiter shares their pain. In a letter read by First Assistant Chief Lashinda Stair, the sergeant wrote he was excited to get back to work. The doctor said that I can probably go home tomorrow and I shall fully recover. I know that I will be taken care of until I'm back on my feet. Sergeant Style was expected to make a full recovery, something he remained grateful for, something he shared with those who visited him at his bedside. And the last thing the sergeant said to me before I left him on Wednesday was, he said, I just said, uh, he said, as, as I got to the hospital, I thought, thank God I'm going to be here for my wife and sons. As for what's next, the chief says the department's focus will remain on their brother, their comrade, Sergeant Kenneth Style. This is the, uh, a time to really revere and applaud this American hero. Sergeant Style leaves behind a wife, Joanne, Two sons, five-year-old William and three-year-old Alexander. Hearts are very heavy tonight outside St. John Hospital in Detroit. Reporting in Detroit, Gino Vici, 